Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In tonight's video, I'm tackling the Storm Wardens chapter of Space Marines. Let's take a look at the parts we're going to use for tonight. So tonight's conversion is broadly going to be based around an assault intercessor with a few pieces from the Age of Sigmar Stormcast range. I've borrowed a cloak from the Lumineth uh, Realm Guard, uh, New Army, I don't know, found it on eBay, it looked cool. Uh, and of course a Grey Knight uh, Force Sword, whatever they're called. But they're big and cool, the big cool swords. So the first job of tonight's conversion is to sort out this guy's chest because we're, we're going to replace this with some of the lightning symbols. So you just need to take a Stanley knife and work up towards the collar because the collar will give you thumb some protection and we're just going to strip away a few layers of this um, chest eagle. Just work your way down nice and slowly. And once you start to get the shape and the eagle off you can either use a file or the edge of your knife just to scrape along and smooth it all off. The main centre of this piece is going to get covered over so it doesn't matter too much but the sides will be visible so do your best to clean that up uh, and get it as smooth as possible. So that's smooth enough for tonight's conversion. You can see I've managed to remove most of it and cleaned it up. There's a bit of a mess around the neckline but that's not going to matter too much once I start painting it. Next job is going to be getting this guy stuck together and onto a base so I'll be back in a minute once that's done. So we're going to give him a minute just to solidify up and give us a bit of strength to do some more work on. We're going to get to work on his other arm. Now I'm just going to do a quick weapon swap. Um, you may want to pin the sword if you're going to use it for gaming. This is a display model, so I'm going to skip that part and I'm literally just going to take off the um, Grey Knight sword right under the hilt. Like so. And then you'll just need to level off this area here, just with a knife or a file. We do the same again on the Indominus uh, Assault Incessor arm. We're just going to take the sword straight away underneath the hilt there. And again, this is fairly flat, so I think we can probably just go ahead and glue that on there. When you're changing weapons like this, it's always worthwhile taking a good look around the model and making sure that the sword lines up ni nicely with the direction of the arm and it's nice and central and then the blade essentially falls down and follows the line of the shaft there, or the shaft the handle. Make sure you get it nice and central and then again pop that to one side and we'll let it uh, dry off for a little bit. So once he's had a few minutes to dry off we'll stick his arms on and then we can get to work on the cloak on his back. I'm not changing the position of the arms much in this so we'll just use the pins as they're already there and they'll give a stronger bond. This side arm we're going to bring just forwards just a little bit so that when we've placed the cloak on his back it's not interrupting his sword arm at all. Now I don't recommend you stick the backpack on here because we're going to have to do a bit of green stuffing. As you can see the cloak is not long enough for this space marine. So to stick the cloak on I'm going to soften off that edge a little bit just with a pair of clippers. Give us a slightly flat point to stick to. Just like that. Doesn't need to be far. I'm going to dab a bit of glue on here and then at the two points where it's going to connect to. And you may just want to test fit the backpack, make sure it's going to fit over the top of the cloak. As you can see, we've got a pretty good fit there, we've got a little bit of space. So, for this next stage, you'll need to mix up a small batch of green stuff. We're going to take a few little bits of it and just fill in these blank areas here where the cloak is going to join up with the armour. So just grab a small blob, roughly shape it into a triangle and we'll drop it in position. Now I usually start with a normal sculpting tool and just get a basic shape worked into it. You want to make sure that you're following the lines of the, cloak, the existing cloak. We're just trying to make it ease that transition in to the armour a little bit and you'll find yourself taking away quite a bit of green stuff. So 
Now once you've got the basic shape roughed out, you'll want to switch to something like one of these. This is a rubber tipped clay shaper. Marvellous tool. Um, get the end nice and wet, and then we're just going to work in, pushing down along the folds of the cloak, trying to work this green stuff into the plastic. Get it as smooth and as fine as possible to the point that when we paint this you will never notice the difference between what was plastic and what is um, green stuff. And then finally, as you can see on this, there's a, a little edge, there's a bit of edging all the way around the cloak. So we're going to sharpen the lines up a little bit back with our metal tool. Just read that, add in that edging, that piping, isn't it? That's what it's called. So that's looking pretty good to me. Bear in mind that A, this is at the back of the model, and B, you can have a massive great uh, power plant sat right behind this. So you're not going to see too much of this anyway, but try and get it as neat as possible and just get these uh, transitions to and from the green stuff as smooth as you can. I'm going to finish up the other side and I'll be back in a minute. There we go, and that is the cloak blended in fairly neatly. This side I've had to do a little bit more just to extend the end of the cloak to tuck under his shoulder pad a little bit. But I'm pretty happy with the way that's come out so far. Now on some cloaks you may just need to stuff a little bit of green stuff inside here. So back onto the rest of the miniature and one of the big things I want to do, I want to add the lightning bolt crown. I'm going to do it downwards. I want to add the lightning bolt crown here. Now as you can see from this piece it is slightly more curved than the chest place of the Primaris Marine. So we're going to take the back of it and we're just going to strim off just a little bit, like so. Then once the fit's a bit closer, we'll get that glued on to the middle of his chest here. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure it's nice and centrally placed and you have an even amount of space on each side. Um, just otherwise it will look off now. Now the centre of this piece looks fairly open uh, and a little bit ugly. It's supposed to have a crest, at least the front of a helmet, so it's got some sort of um, helmet piece that sits in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn one of these little skulls, which is from, oh I think this is the Infiltrator kit. It's either the Reavers or the Infiltrator kit, it's one of the Phobos kits. Uh, you get a bunch of these tiny little symbols. They're meant to be hung from belts, so they've got these little belt loops at the top. So we're just going to take this and very carefully just slice that off without cutting into the detail at all. Like that. And once it's cleaned up, just a dab of glue on here and we'll drop that on. And again, you just want to make sure that the skull is nice and central and following the line of the intercessor's body. For his belt, we're going to add a set of tassels. So I'm just going to trim straight across the top of these, make sure give myself a nice level area to play with. Don't need to do any other cleaning up of them. I'm going to drop a dab of glue underneath his belt and on his groin. And then we'll just drop this piece in. Now to fit this onto the head, we're going to do a few different cuts. I can put it at the back there but I suspect it might catch in his backpack, so I'm going to have to bring it forward a little bit. So I'll start by just trimming out this piece here. Like so. And doing a couple of test fits on him to see where I want to fit it. And just keep test fitting until you've got it at a position you want. And it's following the curve of the Space Marine's helmet. And then once you're happy with it, you can just dab a little bit of glue on and get it stuck together. Then we'll put the head straight onto the model, put his backpack on and see where we're at. So last of all, we're going to stick on this knife, just going to tuck it under his belt here and attach it to his thigh plate like so. And there we have it, one completed Storm Warden Intercessor. If you hang on a minute, there'll be a video of him painted up in the chapter colours coming up in a moment. Thank you. 
And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care and we'll see you next time.